Hey guys and welcome to coding test. In this video we will see how to download and install the latest version of CodeBlocks IDE in Windows 10 operating system. So here are the first thing that we have to do is to open any browser installed in your PC. I have Google so in the URL bar write codeblocks.org. It will open the website. Now here click on the download button. In the Windows section it is available with MinGW. You can also download this for an other operating system such as Linux and Mac but in this series we will be using Windows operating system. But you can also follow the course if you are using one of these. Now here I will download this for 64 bit operating system with MinGW. You can download 32 or 64 bit operating system. Now the download has started. So the download has finished. Now open the downloaded folder and double click to install and allow this to run in your system. This is the code blocks installation. Now it is very simple. Just click next and click on I agree. Click next and here this is the path of installation. Click next and finish. Now it has been installed in our system successfully. Now here we can launch code blocks and write our very first program. But before that let's do a little cool thing. And that is to make our programs to run from anywhere and will get some more functionality and libraries in code. For that we have to set the path of the code blocks in our system variables. So for doing that click on your computer icon, go to C drive and program files. Now go to code blocks and here you can see a folder called MinGW. Open that. After that open bin folder. And here above that a URL is there. Just copy the path. Now go to control panel. System and security. Now go to system. Here you can see the advanced system settings. And here you can see the environment variables. Click on this. Here in the user variable section select the path and click on edit. Here click new and paste the path that you have copied. Now click on ok by closing all opening windows. Now open CMD and type in GCC minus minus version. And here you can see that it is showing you the information. So if you got this it means that you have successfully installed code blocks and MinGW properly. Now you can write C, C++ programs from anywhere in your system without any issue. Now let's write our very first program. So open code blocks IDE. Thank you. 
and go to file and click new file now this section we will write a program that will print hello world on the screen now let's start the coding so first of all we have to write hashtag include less than symbol io stream and a greater than symbol after that using namespace std and a semicolon then int main and two curly brackets so this is the piece of code that you will see in every c++ program now every c++ program starts from the main function so inside the main function we will be writing our message just type c out less than less than symbol and quotation mark inside the quotation mark we will write hello world and a semicolon on the end so here whatever you write between the quotation mark will be appear on the screen so once you are done and just click the run button on the top of the code blocks window and here you go you have written a very basic c++ program so that's it for this video in the next video we would start writing more complex programs so if you like this video then hit the like button and if you want more videos like this then do subscribe to our channel so guys thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video